Hi everyone. Um, so Shannon here again for this, my first um, review assessment sort of deal of the uh, new Big Brother season 17 house guests. Now um, I did this last season for Big Brother Canada 3. If you don't already know or didn't follow that, um, my videos are all here. I forgot to do a video for the finale, uh, just got super busy and everything, but um, just gonna touch on that super quick. I'm super happy that Sarah won. Um, I felt she was the most strategic player and I generally tend to go for those sorts of people. She was strategic, social, and you know, won comps when she definitely needed to, so I felt that was a very well-deserved win on her part. Um, but yeah, sorry I never got to that video, just anyways, um, but I should be good for this season. I just actually <laughs> got started a new job, so we'll see. So far it's not conflicting, hopefully it will continue that way, but I should be able to at least get a weekly recap video up, no matter what. Anyways, um, so... I'm just going to go through them in alphabetical order. I, if you see me looking over this way, it's just because I'm looking at my screen to kind of put the faces with my notes that I wrote, just because, you know, everyone's new, so I'm not, you know, names and faces, my memory aren't quite perfect yet. I'm giving me, like, a week, maybe two, and I'm pretty sure I'll have them down. But for right now, <laughs> not quite, since I, you know... Um, basically, I'm basing all these first impressions, whether I'm reading the bio on CBS.com or watching the videos with Jeff on there as well, and, but mostly from watching uh, the videos on BigBrotherNetwork.com. I will link that down below. They are like 10 minutes long, some of them, 8 to 10 around there. So I didn't quite watch the whole thing on some of them because a lot of my first impressions I can pretty well pick up in the first few minutes. So, you know, and I just, I don't have quite that much time in my day to watch, you know, over two hours, basically, of footage of these people. I kind of get the idea in the first few minutes, but you're more than welcome to watch the whole thing. They are, you know, interesting and everything, and it's cool to sort of see them in this perspective before they get in the house, and it's interesting to see how they change from before and after, how my opinions change from before and after. Like, um, for instance, Sarah wasn't my first... Uh, favorite based on my first impressions when I initially saw the house guest interviews even for just Big Brother Canada and then she became like my girl within a week ish maybe two something like that but pretty early on once I saw her on the show I really loved her so yeah um before I begin just so you know the I'm just basically going on their gameplay kind of how I perceive their personality not all personalities are getting along, so someone that you might think is your favorite because you like this part of them doesn't necessarily mean that I do. Differing opinions are always welcome. I'm never trying to attack them personally or who they are as people outside of this, so please don't get offended. If you do, I am terribly sorry. That's never my intention. Um, but yeah, it's basically just kind of my opinion, what I think about them, how I think other people might perceive them. If I feel this way, maybe someone else will too. But all in all, um, I'm pretty excited. Um, I haven't read too much about the twist this year with the takeover, what that'll entail. I'm just kind of more or less going blind into it other than the house guests this season because I just want to see the twist kind of as it happens and figure out then rather than speculate because I'll just drive myself nuts and I really don't need that. Um, so yeah, just going to go in alphabetical order here and kind of what I thought. So the first step is Audrey. And initially, okay, but I, I've read online that apparently she is our first transgender house guest, which is phenomenal and only made me love her that much more. I honestly saw the interview, loved her right away, and then I read that and I was like, wow, that's amazing and, and I mean, good for her. That's incredible. So yeah, it didn't change my opinion at all. It didn't affect my initial first impression opinion either since I read it afterwards. So yeah, I thought that's really cool and awesome of CBS and I look forward to her. I, But yeah, I put on here that I loved her right off the bat. I thought she was intelligent, strategical, and a bit sassy, which are things that I absolutely adore in any person. Um, it's just fantastic. Um... 
and from reading stuff that I, I read a little bit in her bio actually because she really did intrigue me from her video right off the bat and since she was the first one it was when I was like yo let's do this um so I loved that she could not only see you know the obvious of Rachel Riley's gameplay being that that's her favorite competitor but also that she saw the strategical elements of it and Rachel's intelligence that you know contributed to her being the good player that she is in the game and everything so the fact that she can observe that and see that and not just see the surface shows me just how intelligent and how observant she really is of people so I hope that she can continue that I hope she can go far I adore her already so that's exciting um next we have Austin he is a former professional wrestler from the WWE NXT um Audrey is also 25 so I'm 25 well almost 25 I say I'm 25 I'm 25 in less than a month okay <laughs> okay um so yeah Austin is 30 we have a pretty young cast this year so I just kind of noted their ages um so he's a former professional wrestler for WWE NXT he's sh still doing wrestler wrestling ooh, in the, independently um I was kind of unsure how I felt about him. I've heard some people, like, say that he looks like Dan Giesling with a beard and uh, long hair, and I, I don't see it. If someone wants to send me a side-by-side, -side, maybe I'm missing something, but I've looked at both of them, and I'm like, eh, I don't, I don't see it. I don't know. Want to tweet me, uh, whatever, do that, because <laughs> I don't see it. Um... He seemed like he was trying a little too hard. I don't know if that was just because he thought that's what people wanted to hear in these interviews or what. Um, but, I mean, he's definitely interesting. Definitely not going to go unnoticed. So I don't know if he's going to last long. People are going to perceive him as a physical threat. I mean, he is... I think he said he was like six foot five or something. You can't really blend into the background. I mean, I... I my boyfriend's six foot four. He sticks out like a sore thumb. Like, you... You can't really, uh, you could try, but I mean, I don't know. So, um, yeah, I just kind of felt he was a little off-putting. I didn't know if he was being Austin the person or kind of being more his wrestling persona character that he's kind of used to being whenever he's around cameras and TV. So I just want to know who he is. So I'm sort of on the fence at the moment about him, how I feel. Either way. It could go either way, honestly. Um, next we have Becky. Um, I didn't really write that much. She's sweet, pretty, and nice. But I didn't find her that interesting or intriguing. Um, a little boring. I don't, I don't want to be mean, but... <laughs> Um, she doesn't seem very sure about the game, um, which could be a good thing. I mean, sometimes going in blind and not really having a good strategy or good feel things can work to your advantage, other times not. So I, again, this is another on the fence. I'm sorry that I don't really, I just, I, she didn't, sorry, that's bugging the crap. What is that? Anyways, um. That is going to drive me. Oh, my God. Don't even hair. What? Like, what? What? Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> mm. No, we're still there. What the hell? Hold up. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> that bothers me a ton. Oh, my God. What are you doing here? I just got this done recently, so I've been... Anyways, um... Becky, Becky, Becky. I... Bleh, I don't get it. Other than she's super gorgeous. 26. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. My opinion could go either way when I see her play, but for right now, she's not the most entertaining of people. But who knows? Maybe when she gets in there... As a round of personalities, maybe it'll bring out a more interesting side of her, and my opinion will change. My opinions are always welcome to change, especially right now. They're just first basic impressions. I only have so much to go off of, so. 
Next, we have Clay. And honestly, in these bio photos, were they seriously trying their hardest to make him look like Caleb? What the heck? He's got the cowboy hat on. He's got the jean thing on. Like, really? Do they just have cowboy hats on standby? I mean, like, yeah, we need another Beast Mode cowboy. Like, what? No. One thing I will say, though, at least Caleb was hella entertaining. Had the whole Beast Mode thing, which definitely did end up sticking as much as we made fun of him. Kind of jokingly made fun of him for it. But this guy, again, <laughs> just seems so dull. And I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I swear, I promise this commentary will get a lot more interesting and I won't think that everyone's boring. <laughs> it's just the flow of these few people. Um, I just, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't. What did I write here? Um, decent looking dude. Yeah. I think he's trying to be Caleb. And he calls himself a super fan for watching the show for three months. No. No. Fan? Of course. Got really into it and binged watched? Absolutely. But super fan after three months? No. No. <laughs> Just leave it there. No. Okay, Davon. I hope I'm saying that right. I tried to remember and I I spelled it kind of phonetically on my paper with how she said her name. If I said it wrong, I am so sorry. Um she was definitely very interesting personality wise. Um, um, she's a mom and she's 27. She's a poker dealer. I'm just hoping that she's not another one of those. Oh, let me win. I have kids. I want to see my kids. Blah, blah, blah. I cannot stand when people do that. Everyone misses their family. Everyone misses their friends. Everyone misses that support back home. I understand that having kids is like a bigger deal. I don't personally have kids. I have a nephew and I adore him to pieces, but I would never try and guilt someone because I have children or because I miss my family that that makes me more deserving. I'd want to earn, you know, my HOH letter, my everything else that kind of comes with all of that. I wouldn't want to just be handed to it because people feel sorry for me because I miss my family. So I'm hoping that she doesn't do that because that's a typical thing that people do and I, oh, it irks me every time. So. Hopefully she doesn't do that, and she seems really cool. I love, I like her a lot. Um, she seems really interesting. The fact that she's a poker dealer, I mean, that she has to be a really good player to obviously get to that point, I'm assuming. So it'll be interesting to see her playing. And we also have another uh, professional poker player in the house, too. So that'll be interesting to see how those two kind of connect together. I got to Vanessa at the very end. But yes. <laughs> I definitely do think that she's interesting, and I'll see. I mean, I don't, I don't love her, don't hate her. I like her. I'll go with like, yes. Okay. So next we have Jace, and honestly, I was entirely frustrated with him. I watched maybe two minutes of his interview before I just couldn't anymore. He came across so arrogant and so cocky within the first, like, less than a minute. I would just, I was very off put by it. I don't know if that's actually how he is or just kind of how he just ended up coming across. So, like I said, like, this opinion could probably change, but as of right now, my first impression of him is not good. But he can always redeem himself. Everyone always can. So, in my eyes, anyways. Um, he's 23, so, I mean, he's, he's young. So, I mean, he's I get, I get it. Um, but yeah, I just, I just, I hope he kind of loses that and gets a little more humble and you know, everything he did talk about being blessed to be there at some point. So it's in there. Just let that side out more and less of the arrogant and be, you know, that there's a fine line between arrogance and confidence and he was treading the arrogance line. So if he could go back towards the confidence, I think I could like him. But as of right now, not my favorite Jace. Um, next we have James who dubs himself the one and only Asian hillbilly. Um, yeah, 
I, he seems like a nice guy. I don't think he has a chance in heck of winning, kind of like Donnie, as much as you loved Donnie. He wasn't really going to win, let's be real. Um, yeah, he seems interesting, seems nice. I don't really know if he has a strategy, knows what he's going to be doing in there. Um, I think he might be fun to watch, and maybe that's about it. Um, I like him, I'm not saying I don't, I just, you know, I gravitate really strongly towards those very strategic players, so for me, he just is a nice person, seems like a cool dude, but, eh. Um, oh, Jason is next. Jason, Jason, Jason. Honestly, got 20 seconds in, hit pause because I was going, oh my god, I freaking adore him. Um, he's definitely one of those interesting personalities that I was looking for, um, so I definitely think he will be a great source of entertainment if he's that same kind of energy that he was in the interview as he is in the house. Phenomenal. Um, I just hope that he also has some strategy in there and everything. He's 25. Maybe these people that are 25, it's like I relate to them. Um, but he's a super market cashier, so he definitely knows how to deal with a wide range of people. I get that. I worked in retail the last three jobs I had, so I get how that is. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited for him, at least personality-wise and entertainment value-wise. I really hope there's some strategy with it so that I can adore him that much more. But um, hopefully his personality doesn't clash with somebody else's and they don't find him annoying because I like him. Okay. John. <laughs> oh, John. Uh, John is this awkward, weird, in the best way possible guy, and I just, I can't. I can't. I can't. It was wonderful. Um, he is definitely smart and has a decent knowledge of the show. He seemed really nervous in the interview, and it was adorable. I just hope that that kind of awkwardness and the whole super fan thing doesn't, you know, throw him off too much and get him, like, starstruck-y kind of thing if past people come in for this whole takeover deal or whatever. Um, I feel as long if he can just kind of sink in that he's there and just let it be, I feel like he can do well. And also as long as that awkwardness side of him doesn't rub other people the wrong way, I think he should be okay. I have hopes for you, John. I really do. 27. I have hopes. I do. Hometown of Scranton. How cute. Sorry, I'm reading to the side. Uh, next we have Liz. Okay. Now, as I was watching it, I felt like she was already like flirting with the camera or flirting with the guy that was interviewing her. I don't really know. She was already wearing like the low cut shirt, which was very cute, by the way. But I felt like she was already playing that sort of flirt with the guy's style, which, you know, has worked for some people. Like, Allison B before got to the final two, basically doing that. Um, other people have as well. That's just kind of the one that comes to mind for me, really. I know she didn't win, so, you know, there's that. Um, and then there's also, you know, um, on this recent season of Big Brother Canada 3, Risha kind of tried to do that. And it got her voted up first, so it can go either way. And I don't really know. I don't know if that was just um, how I perceived her, if anyone else perceived her that way, or just kind of maybe she genuinely liked the guy or thought that was how she had to be. I don't know. I hope she's not like that all the time in the house because she was just like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, not quite that. Except, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness, I just embarrassed myself. But you know what I mean? If you if you watch it, just just watch it. You'll understand. Um. So yeah. Um. I just don't really care for her too well. I don't really have an opinion. I don't hate her, but I'm like. Eh. Um. Next we have 25 year old Meg. I swear, all the 25 year olds we like connect. Um. I <laughs> adore her. Her bubbliness might get on my nerves a bit later, but for right now, she's cute, she's funny, um, she's excitable, and her personality is 
so contagious. Like I was smiling and like laughing during her interview. I thought she was just so cute and she was just so happy to be there. She kind of reminds me of Willow from Maybe the Canon 3, just, you know, happy, go lucky, super fan, love. <laughs> and I hope that she can be a strong female competitor, whether she's good at comp competitions or strategy or both. I have, you know, hopes for her that she can pull off at least one of them and, you know, make a name for herself. I like Meg a lot. Um, but yeah, even if she, you know, is bad at personality, bad at strategizing, her personality is enough to just adore her. So just be you, Meg. Just be you. Um, Shelly is next. And Shelly was hands down my favorite female, if not maybe my all-time favorite so far. Um, I put a little star next to her because I was like, yes. Um, she definitely seems to me to be the more strategic of players, and I think that she could probably go far. Um, she seems observant and calm, which is good to go in there, kind of just observe people and stay calm. Don't get too, you know, excited and overwhelmed and, you know, get yourself targeted for being annoying or to whatever, you know, just, just be in the moment. Um, and she's not one of the bigger personality so I don't feel like she's going to be one to be involved in a lot of drama and stuff which is good um so I feel like as she aligns with the right people and you know at least forges those relationships that I feel like she can go far and do really well um so yeah I love you Shelly go do 33 first one that's not 25 but yes <laughs> I like her a lot um so yeah I they hope she does really well um Maybe my pick to win. Maybe. But yeah, she's my favorite so far. Um, next we have Steve. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's just like a little bundle of nerd. And I just want to like give him a little hug and be like, it's okay. You can do it. <laughs> like, um, But he's definitely very talkative, which was kind of surprising to me. But, you know, totally welcomed. Um... He's definitely very quirky and a big fan of Big Brother, which I can totally appreciate. I just hope that, again, he isn't too overwhelmed with being there and that if this takeover twist involves past players coming in or whatever exactly, celebrities, whatever, that he's not too, like, starstruck and then, like, ah, uh, from being such a super fan that he can just kind of dial that back and not let the inner fan girl out, kind of like how I was on my podcast with Rob and Netta. Just, just, just hold it in. <laughs> hold it in. It'll be okay. Just hold it in. I know it's amazing. I understand. Believe me. Believe me, I do. I now actually do. Um, but yeah, I like him. Um, he's he's really young, so hopefully that doesn't hurt him. But again, everyone else, I guess, is 23, 25, so he's not too much younger than everybody else. But just a year younger. Eh, okay. Anyway, so then last but not least, we have Vanessa. Now, when I saw Vanessa's picture, I honestly was like, oh, great. We have another Gina Marie on our hands, for the love of God, not another Gina Marie. There can only be one. I actually grew to kind of like her, at least, like, you know, as a person kind of outside of Big Brother. Um, so I was like, no, we don't need another one, because she looked so much like her, it scared me. And then that hat. I feel like she can lose that hat because I feel like she has such pretty hair, such a pretty face. Why? Why are you wearing that hat? Why? 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 <laughs> lose the hat. Please. Um, but anyways, she's 32, a professional poker player. And she surprised me from being, seeming so, uh, strategic. I hope that she's not, like, confrontational like Jenny Marie was, although she managed a final three, so, or final two, so maybe she can. Um, but... She definitely has some strategy, which I totally appreciate. Um, but yeah, she was definitely a surprise to me. I didn't think initially that I was going to like her, but I kind of do. So yeah, I, I, have, I have hopes for Vanessa. Um, yeah, it was a definitely a very welcome surprise, and I felt you know bad for being one of those kind of judging by the cover, judging by like a similar sort of person that has been on the show before. She's like, I mean, she just looks so much like her. It scared me. 
I was like, did we bring Jenna Marie back? Did Jenna Marie get a name change? Like, what is happening? But no, uh, Vanessa, she's she's super cute. She seems she seems really nice, really cool. Um, and being a poker player, that will you know hopefully work in her advantage. It did work for a while in uh, Big Brother Canada Three. Kevin was a professional poker player in there. Um, had it not been for some twists, who knows how well he might have actually done. So, you know, I'm um, just hoping she can kind of roll with this twist, be on, you know, good terms with people, and who knows? She might end up, you know, proving that the poker players can, you know, do really well in this game. So, yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the cast. Um, I'm still missing my all star season, my all star season, my second all star season of this. I just, I want another all star. <laughs> Am I the only one out there that's like, oh, it's not all stars? But no, I do love seeing cast of new people. Um, I hope this whole takeover thing isn't too intense. Um, no more like battle of the block nonsense or uh, just after so many twists in Big Brother Canada 3, can it be a more like, normal-ish season. I don't mind some twists, some excitements, double evictions are always my favorite episodes, things like that, but I don't know. Especially since it's going to be, really, I read it was a 97-day season. I hope that it's not dragged out too long because I know that a lot of times it can feel endless when it's like that. And as much as I am a huge fan of Big Brother, I've been watching since season two, sometimes it's like, okay, let's go if it's dragging on for too long you know what i mean so yeah um anyways i'm super excited um you can follow me on twitter where um as long as i'm not working i will be live tweeting every episode and um yeah that's where i'll post when i upload new videos and you can also subscribe to my channel here I will have links to all that down below. My Twitter handle is sbauer17. That's S-B-A-U-E-R, the number one, the number seven. Um, so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And leave comments, like, subscribe, all that. I know I already said subscribe, but it felt like I couldn't leave it out. <laughs> um, anyways, so I look forward to talking to you all soon. And to watch the premiere episode on Wednesday.